All eyes have been on the cast of Don't Worry Darling this week as the drama surrounding the movie has only escalated following the premiere at Venice Film Festival this past weekend. With speculation of the cast not getting along, rumors of unprofessionalism on set, and then there's that weird video where it looks like Harry Styles spit on Chris Pine. This weekend was anything but drama free and the entire internet was eating it up. I've been keeping an eye on this movie for a while now as I was really looking forward to it and figured Olivia wild success with book smart this movie would also be just as amazing and who knows it could still be a great film only a few reviews have come in as of now so it's not set in stone what the overall opinion is but let's break down how we got here to all this drama that has everyone dissecting every little way this cast looked this past weekend the first public thread of drama that caught people's attention was when rumors swirled that olivia wilde and harry styles were to together in some way. They were seen hand in hand at a friend's wedding and people were really thrown off by seeing them together by just how quickly she had seemed to move on from her longtime partner, Jason Sudeikis. The two had been together for years and shared two children together, but in November of 2020, they announced a split. By January 2021, that's when she was seen with Harry at that wedding, and he was also the lead in her film, Don't Worry Darling. So people were like, what happened on set? And I will say that at this time, Ted Lasso, Jason Jason Sudeikis' Apple TV show was such a hit and he was such a beloved character in that show that I believe it really added to people feeling a type of way towards seeing Olivia seemingly moving on quickly just because his character was so loved and everybody really was loving Jason at this time. People felt really bad for him and lots of rumors and assumptions were being made about her and Harry despite the fact that Olivia and Jason claimed their breakup was amicable. It felt like things weren't as peaceful as they claimed though when Olivia was promoting Don't Worry Darling at CinemaCon in Las Vegas this past April and she was on stage when she was served custody papers as she was speaking. Jason claimed in an interview that the company that processes the papers is the one responsible for the timing of all of that and he had no idea when she would be served. Olivia though felt that it was very purposeful and in an interview with Variety said, I hated that this nastiness distracted from the work of so many different people and the studio that I was up there representing. Wild told Variety in an interview going into depth about what it was like to get served in front of all those people. But you know, sadly, it was not something that was entirely surprising to me. I mean, there's a reason I left that relationship. So that was sort of phase one of the drama surrounding this film, her relationship with Harry. And of course that relationship riled up Harry fans. And there were loads of videos going around of her, especially at the beginning of people seeing them together. She was at his concert, she was dancing and people just judged her. They judged her for being around him all the time. They were like, how does she have all this time? They mommy shamed her. It was really bad. But that was seemingly all the drama that was going on. It didn't really have to do with the movie, except for the, you know, parts where people were kind of thinking maybe something happened on set, but no one was really talking about the movie. People were just talking about Harry and Olivia and them being together and her, and that was really it. But people were kind of noting that Florence Pugh hadn't been promoting the movie like she's promoted other projects and assumed that something must have happened to make her not so excited to post about the film. When the film had wrapped in February of last year, she had made an Instagram post thanking mostly the behind the scenes crew and didn't address Olivia by name. Meanwhile, Olivia had shared a post dedicated to Florence saying, to work with an actor as talented and brave as Florence Pugh is any director's dream. I will forever be grateful for you, Flo. It was an honor to be your captain. Can't wait for the world to see the astonishing work you've put into this movie. Tom Cruise run and Meryl Streep's skills equals the flow. Special thanks to no one for telling me I had tape stuck to my butt in this moment. I love you. Don't worry, darling. Florence hadn't promoted the film hardly at all, but in an interview recently, she had come out to say that she didn't appreciate this film and her character just being reduced down to the intimate scenes. A lot of the promotion that had come out for the film included Harry Styles getting that watermelon sugar, if you know what I mean, and that song means. She just didn't like how hot and heavy the promo had 
had to be when the film is so much more than just those scenes with her and Harry getting down and dirty. She said, when it's reduced to your scenes or to watch the most famous man in the world go down on someone, it's not why we do it. It's not why I'm in this industry. Pugh told Harper's Bazaar, not mentioning Wilde's supposed boyfriend by name, obviously the nature of hiring the most famous pop star in the world, you're going to have conversations like that. That's just not what I'm going to be discussing because this movie is bigger and better than that, and the people who made it are bigger and better than that. After these comments, it was said that Florence would not be doing press interviews for the film, and it was pretty clear something was up, and it was more than just scheduling conflicts, as she's currently filming the movie Dune 2, but Timothy Chalamet, who is the main character in the movie, is also filming it, and he has been far more active promoting his projects and doing interviews for those movies Movies, even though they're filming right now. Now for the drama that really didn't make Olivia look too good because honestly up until this things were very much speculation. People reading into things, people just gossiping and rumors and wondering. But this right here put the drama for this film in the headlines. Everything else I feel was though, if you like Harry, you pay attention to like their fan accounts and things, you might hear about this movie here and there. You might hear about Olivia and Harry together. You might hear about Florence not wanting to do press. It wasn't until this drama right here that everybody was like, oh, something's up with this movie. So Olivia sat down to do an interview with Variety recently, and she was talking about the film and how the original main character for the movie was Shia LaBeouf and Florence Pugh, not Harry Styles and Florence Pugh. And she had basically said that she fired Shia LaBeouf from the movie and said, I say this as someone who is such an admirer of his work. His process was not conductive to the ethos that I demand in my productions. He has a process that in some ways seems to require a combative energy and I don't personally believe that is conducive to the best performances. I believe that creating a safe, trusting environment is the best way to get people to do their best work. Ultimately, my responsibility is to the production and to the cast to protect them. That was my job, Wilde said. The director continued, particularly with a movie like this, I knew that I was going to be asking Florence to be in very vulnerable situations and my priority was making her feel safe and making her feel supported. Shy pushed back following this statement, saying he was never fired. He quit the film, and this was a false narrative she was pushing. LaBeouf sent Variety screenshots of text messages he sent to Wilde in August of 2020, where he told Wilde he'd have to back out of Don't Worry Darling. In his email to Olivia following the article coming out, where she claimed to fire him, he wrote, Firing me never took place, Olivia, and while I fully understand the attractiveness of pushing that story because because of the current social landscape, the social currency that brings, it is not the truth. So I am humbly asking, as a person with an eye towards making things right, that you correct the narrative as best you can. I hope none of this negatively affects you and that your film is successful in all the ways you want it to be. Every blessing to you, Shy. He also ended up releasing a video that she had sent over to him back in 2020, where it sounds as though she really wants him to come back to the set, definitely not a firing video. She refers to Florence Pugh in this video as Miss Flo even, which a lot of people feel was in a negative way. I just went riding my horse, very sweaty, but I wanted to reach out because I feel like I'm not ready to give up on this yet and I too am heartbroken and I want to figure this out and you know I think this might be a bit of a wake-up call for Miss Flo and I want to know if you're open to giving this a shot with me with us if she really commits if she really puts her her mind and heart into it at this point and if you guys can make peace and I respect your point of view I respect hers but if you guys can do it what do you think is there hope? Is there hope? Will you let me know? And that's definitely something to remember for later. Miss Flo. Now, I do want to say that as I am recording this right now, Olivia has put out another statement. This is following Venice Film Festival. This is following everything that's happened this past weekend. She put out another statement to Variety in which she's talking all about the Shia LaBeouf situation once again. She says, this issue is so much more nuanced than can be explained in private text released out of context. All I'll say is he was replaced and there was no going forward with him. I wish him the best in his recovery. So that is what she said as of two 
today about Shia LaBeouf and that whole situation going on between them and him not being in the movie anymore. But after these first initial statements of was he fired, was he not, and this video coming out, people were looking at Olivia differently because that video is not a good look at all. Wanting to seem like she was looking out for her crew while texting Shia to come back didn't sit right with people. And very quickly after this was Venice Film Festival, where the film would be premiering and this leads us to the drama from this past weekend. Florence had said that she was not going to be attending the press conference due to scheduling conflicts, but she did have time to post a few photos on Instagram, including a video where she landed in Venice and was drinking that Aperol spritz and man does she need it because this carpet was messy. So at the press conference though, while Florence was having her Aperol spritz, Olivia was asked about Florence and the internet and the noise and all that has been said. I can't say enough how honored I am to have her as our lead. She's amazing in the film. And as for all the endless tabloid gossip and all the noise out there, I mean, the internet feeds itself. I don't feel the need to contribute. I think it's sufficiently well-nourished. And following her answer, Harry was seen laughing, which a lot of people were just like, oh, the timing of this was just not, it was just not right. Hi, actually, from Olive Reporter. Um, Rush Actions in film, I thought it was great, but I would also just like to. He was probably laughing at somebody in the crowd or something else, but the tension of this press conference with Gemma and Chris Pine just completely disassociating from where they were in this, and then Olivia getting asked about the drama that's been going on, and Harry doesn't even know what he's doing. He even says that he doesn't know what he's doing. I have no idea what I'm doing, and it's quite fun. He seemed very out of his element and a lot of people noted that people felt like the whole cast was very much over this entire festival and everyone had like cry for help eyes. Now at the actual premiere, when all of them were going to be on the carpet together, this was the showtime, the big thing everyone was waiting for. Florence looked stunning in this dress, I will say, and her stylist was the one to make a major acknowledgement towards the drama, okay? Nobody in the this cast has really talked about much of the drama. I mean, obviously Olivia has been asked and she says that Florence is a force and you know, she's trying to deny any drama, but nobody else has acknowledged any of the drama. Florence hasn't acknowledged any of the drama. She just said no press, no interviews. But Florence's stylist says, yes, I dressed her in this beautiful outfit and I'm gonna spill some tea today. Her stylist got her ready for the premiere, posted several photos of her with the caption, Miss Flo in what the public believe is in reference to the video Olivia sent to Shy calling her Miss Flo. For Miss Flo. And if you guys don't think that that was shade towards Olivia at all, get a look at this. Her stylist also liked a tweet on Twitter saying, don't mess with our queen Florence. Hashtag times up Olivia. Oh my God. I mean, this just confirmed to a lot of people that there was indeed a riff between Olivia and Florence. Now on the carpet, she nor Harry stood next to Olivia and people believe Olivia not interacting with Harry was very strategic to somehow garner attention away from the fact that Florence was not giving Olivia the time of day. People thought, oh, so they broke up, but there's no confirmation of that. That hasn't come out. I still think that they are together. I don't know if they thought that breakup rumors would overpower the fact that her lead clearly wasn't talking to her, making eye contact with her hardly all night, but it honestly made things so much worse that her and Harry were not interacting with each other. Like we see you guys hanging out all the time, holding hands, going on vacation, going on all these trips. And I don't know if she wanted to keep the professional aspect because this is her movie or what, but him basically ignoring her for a good majority of the time that they were in front of the cameras definitely made a lot of people uncomfortable online. It raised a lot of questions. It definitely started a lot more conversations than I think that any of them wanted and it made everyone just seem super uncomfortable when even just trying to figure out where everyone was going to stand for the major cast photo. Florence stuck to Nick Kroll mostly the entire night. She did interact with other castmates like her and Gemma were hugging, her and Chris Pine, but not Harry or Olivia really. Once inside for the premiere, the question of the week had occurred. Did Harry Styles spin on Chris Pine? I just thought there was no way that he had done that at least like not maliciously. Like there's all these cameras around. Why would he do that? Unless 
it was something in regards to the movie because I don't think Chris Pine is playing a very good character. So I thought maybe they're joking, maybe it's like funny, but Chris Pine's face said a very different story. And so nobody knew what the heck had happened because in my mind, I was like, he just spent all day avoiding his girlfriend to not make any noise with the press just to spit on someone, you know, like, I don't think that that is the case. I think it was bad timing or something. I'm not sure, but Chris Pine's team is claiming no spit was spat. They claim that it was just the internet analyzing a little too hard. And even Harry even made a joke about it at his show in New York City recently. Wonderful to be back in New York. I just popped very quickly to Venice to spit on Chris Pine. <laughs> So I think it was just very weird timing. He didn't actually want to spit on Chris Pine. Now, after the movie played, the film got a four minute standing ovation. And if you didn't know, this is a big indicator to how good a film is at this festival. For reference, here were some of the other times we're seeing like a 13 minute standing ovation. I don't know how people clap for that long, but this was the scorecard. During the standing ovation, people claim Florence hardly looked over to where Harry and Olivia were, but there was a clip that I saw of her seemingly acknowledging either Harry or Olivia, I'm not sure which one. Harry looks over at Olivia very quickly in a way the internet felt was him being like, oh my God, did that happen kind of way. There are clips of Olivia and Harry interacting here and there and him acknowledging her. So I don't think that they're broken up or their interactions were as cold as everybody thought, but the internet surely was uncomfortable by the fact that they were not interacting. Just very much confusing to a lot of people, but there were clips of them out there interacting. They were just not very pushed out. So all in all, I think it was just a very uncomfortable press day, premiere day for everyone. You could clearly see the tension through the screen. It was just not your normal, we all love each other, like can't wait to see the movie type of vibe. Now, this film isn't set to come out for another two weeks and they have a premiere in New York coming up that Florence won't be attending, but it'll be interesting to see how that one compares to this. So that is everything that has gone on with drama surrounding this film. I definitely wanna know what you guys think. Have you been following along with this saga? Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye guys.